Anna Gelon was the Queen of Poland and the Grand Duke of Lithuania in her own right between 1575 and 1587, co-ruling with her husband, Hungarian Stephen Batory, who was absent from her personal life, being preoccupied with the Lithuanian war against the Tsardom of Russia and its vassal states. Anna instead spent a majority of her time in Warsaw. After her husband's death, Anna had the chance to claim the throne all to herself, but did not even attempt at doing so, and instead promoted her nephew, Sigismund III of the House of Vasa, to the throne of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. How did this notable noblewoman live her life, and what good did her reign bring to the lands of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth? Anna Gieron was born on the 18th of October 1523 to the Polish king queen Sigismund I the Old and Bonus Forza, spending most of her childhood in Kraków, where she received her education and became fluent in Italian Latin, while being involved in charitable works and fulfilling her obligations as a princess. In 1548, Anna and her two sisters, together with the Queen Mother Bona would later move north to Masovia, mainly residing in Warsaw and the Uyazdów Castle after a dispute regarding the secret marriage of Anna's brother Sigismund II Augustus to Barbara Radziwiłł. After a decade of living in Masovia, in 1515-8, a year after her mother's departure to her native Bari in modern-day Italy and a subsequent assassination there, Sigmund II Augustus brought his sisters northeast to Vilnius, where they became close to his third wife, Catherine of Austria. Anna continued to live a quiet life after countless failed marriage proposals in the late 1550s up to 1562, and moving back to Warsaw in the 1560s due to the threat of the Livonian War being fought in close proximity to Vilnius. Residing in the royal castle in Warsaw, she spent her time praying and sewing and writing letters to her now married sisters. Her brother would also visit Anna annually while attending sessions of the Great Saint in Warsaw. It would not be until July 1572, after her brother's death, that lonely Anna came into the light as the heiress to the Jagiellonian dynasty. However, for the next two years, her life would be dictated by nobles, who in 1573 elected Henry de Valois as the next monarch of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Anna believed that Henry would marry her, but when it came apparent that he had no intention to do so, Anna was left humiliated. In May 1574, Henry de Valois fled Poland to become crowned king of France after the death of his brother Charles IX that same month. During the second interregnum, Anna received the title of Infanta to denote her royal status, and in December of 1575, the powerful magnate Jan Zamoyski proposed to elect Anna. However, a woman could not rule and needed to marry, and so Stephen Batory, the voivode of Transylvania, was proposed to become her husband. In December 15th, in the then village of Wola near Warsaw, Anna and Stephen Batory, who was her fiancé at that time, were elected as the co-rulers of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. On the 1st of May 1576, the couple was married and crowned at the Wawel Cathedral, as Anna refused a proxy marriage. The Lithuanian delegation at first did not recognize the results of the election due to their absence, but it so only after the coronation in late June of 1576. By marrying, Anna was forced to surrender inheritance from her brother and in turn received some of his properties for her lifetime, the income from the village castle mine and interest on her mother's bonus forces loaned to the King of Spain, Philip II, which she was supposed to share with her sister Catherine Yagiron, but it not. 
Anna's lifestyle didn't appear to change for the better. She lived a lonely life in Warsaw and yearning a closer relationship with her husband, who took charge of the Lithuanian wars in the northeast, which she opposed to. Other than being involved in politics and economic policies which came with it, and sponsored some large-scale constructions, including the completion of the reconstruction of the royal castle in Warsaw, the Yazdov Castle, whose reconstruction was begun by her mother, and the modernization of the Sigismund Augustus Bridge. After the death of her husband, Stephen Batore, in 1586, she refused his burial at the Sigismund Chapel in the Vavo Cathedral, and going against the traditions that dictated husband and wife should not be separated, death Stephen Batore was instead buried in the chapel of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It was also after the death of her husband in 1586 that Queen Anna refused to claim the political power in the Commonwealth all for herself, and instead promoted Anna Vasa and Sigismund Vasa, the only children of her beloved sister Catherine Jagellon and the King John III of Sweden. And so, on the 19th of August 1587, Sigismund Vasa was elected king and arrived, together with his sister Anna Vasa, to Poland in October the same year. After his coronation and the brief crisis around the war of the Polish succession, Anna and her niece settled in Warsaw while Sigismund spent most of his time in Krakow. Anna, while yielding great power in politics, led a quiet and lonely life, dying in Warsaw on the 9th of September 1596 as the last Jagiellon. 